Hello, what is up guys? This is Kyle from Kyle's Game Room. And you've seen this little tub for I don't know how many how many months. Because it's been in my room for quite a while. And throughout my room tours, I never really showed you guys what's inside here. Uh, I made a video uh, in a, about a book bag called Treasure Hunting. <laughs> and we're going to treasure hunt in here. I uh, know about a... A few plushes in here, but there is some stuff in here I don't remember worth crap. So we are going to discover what's inside here. Alright, so I know it's a really pointless video, so if you don't like this kind of stuff, then you can go ahead and leave. But if you're really interested, if you're curious, here we go. Alright, so let's lift this. Alright, let's see what we got in store. Okay, we have uh, a Crash Bandicoot plush, a giant one. Uh... Uh, I think I got two of these, uh, but one of them's at work, at least in this size. Uh, I got it from Hershey Park. My mom wanted it for me. She knew she had to get it for me. She spent I don't know how much money trying to win this guy for me. Unfortunately, there is a hole right here. We need to patch it up so no more beans fly out. Um, yeah, it might be worth something. She also got me a Spyro, but I, I don't know what happened to Spyro. So we're just gonna throw Crash back here. There's another Crash plush. Uh, it's a probably a few inches smaller than the last one. Uh, this one was from Walmart. It was in a claw machine. And I saw it and I'm like, oh snap. There's a Crash Bandicoot plush. So, my dad had a dollar. And here he was a little bit buried. Like He was like buried under a wolf. And the thing that he pulled off was absolutely incredible. Nothing that he could never pull off ever again. Uh, the wolf was laying, like, laying on top of him, alright? Laying down. He spent, and it's like 50 cents a play. He spent the first 50 cents, like, getting, trying to aim for, uh, Crash. But a little bit more towards the wolf. He got the wolf to stand up, so he had a perfect shot of Crash. And he's like, oh my god. And then, he goes back in. Goes to get Crash again. He grabs it, we see it fall into the hole, and we're like, oh snap. That was epic. So I'm happy that I got this guy, and if none of you, uh, if none of you don't know, Crash Bandicoot is my favorite game of all time. Um, I love Sonic, I love Mario, but Crash is my number one. Alright, um, we got a Gremlin, Gizmo, his, he's actually from a fair in E-Town. It's a little bit, like, it's not too far from my place. But some of you probably don't even live in Pennsylvania, so some of you might not even know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, I was at the E-Town Fair, and I won this guy. Then a couple years later, there was like a giant claw machine. Like, like one big enough that could actually probably, like, like have your, uh, have its, like, claws around you. It was that huge. And I gotta say, I was kind of terrified of that thing. And there was bigger gremlins in there, too. It was really epic. I loved it. But I never tried to win anything because I'm pretty sure his claws wouldn't be able to support giant plushes like that anyway. At least uh, I was skeptic. Okay, we got a Shrek plush. Uh, back in the day, there was these uh, plushes of Shrek and Donkey. And you could actually talk to them and stuff. Like if you, they said keywords, then they would like respond to you properly. Like they would like, he'll say, tell me a joke, and then he'll tell you a joke. It's absolutely awesome. So, well. That's Shrek. And Donkey is also down here. Donkey is the best out of the two. I'm not going to lie. I actually got Donkey first. And then a little bit after a while, I'm like, ah, I need Shrek. It's not complete. So I got myself a Shrek. And, um, I love it. And obviously I don't really play with them, but... Still part of my childhood. And this is why I actually keep all this stuff. Because they've been a part of my childhood. And I'm not going to get rid of them. Okay, 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 okay. A very old Woody doll. Yeah, like the crap from like the 90s. Yeah. Doesn't have the string on the back anymore. It's, it's beaten to hell. But it's, the fact that he still has his hat really makes me happy. Curious George plush. Uh, this was my brother's. And uh, when we separated our room, I kept it. Because I was afraid that he was going to throw it away. And 
Uh, again, it was part of our childhood, so. Like, this is the part of Zack that I don't get to see anymore. The one that would play Mario with me and, like, Curious George. So, um, I kept this as a memento. Okay, what else do we got? Oh. Oh, snap. Hold on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Do you remember, uh, Crazy Frog and why is his vest coming off? <laughs> yeah, you can take his vest off. Uh, this is the Crazy Frog. Um, if you never heard of Crazy Frog, um, do not look him up. He is annoying. He's known as the annoying thing. Yeah, um, I loved Crazy Frog when I was a child. No, the details on the eyes are actually pretty crazy. I like it. So, um, yeah, Crazy Frog. He even has a butt. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Bart, stuffed animal that I wanted to call machine at the E-Town Fair. Okay, um, what else do we got? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, some of you may know of Twilight Island. And holy crap, these figures are beating to hell. Hell, this one's gross. Alright, so uh, anyway, a lot of you may know about Toy Island. And uh, here, when they did Sonic Adventure and Sonic X, um, they changed Sonic. I think it's mainly because uh, they were worried about the spines being way too pointy for kids. So they changed the head sculpt on the smaller figures and even the bigger figures. This is the one from Sonic Adventure. This is the one from Sonic X. But what's cool about these ones, like the one from Sonic Adventure, where they actually talked. These were made by Toy Island, not Resaurus, unfortunately. I never got the Resaurus figures, and I really wanted one. But I never got one. Thanks, Mom. Uh, but yeah, we got the we got this one, and it talked. But apparently it doesn't talk anymore. So that, su that sucks. But we got this one. The button's there, but it doesn't talk. You try to press the button... And you can't press it. So that sucks. So yeah, these are the two forms of Sonic. You can tell by the back of the spines. And when I saw this one, this reminded me of Sonic Heroes so much. Because of how big his spines were and how wide they went in the Sonic Heroes games compared to Sonic Adventure. Um, well, I also have Tails and I also have Knuckles. But these are from the later Toy Island, island from uh, Sonic X. Unfortunately, tail is missing a tail, but I'm pretty sure it's in here. I could probably find it, glue it back on. But unfortunately, I, can't, I don't have any super glue right now, so that kind of sucks. And this is how we learned the hard way that knuckles, but like their buttons don't work. <laughs> because if you can't see, there's a hole right there. Because uh, I think my friend Ricky tried pressing the button. <laughs> and it went through. And we're like, whoa. Okay, so that's knuckles and tails. Now, there's still a lot of stuff to go in here for... Okay, um... A Buzz doll. Uh, I had one... It, it, like, here, it's obviously not the same colors. Like, it's not the original that we all know and love. But this is the one I was supposed to light up uh, when you would press the buttons. But unfortunately, the lighting effects died off. Uh, the first one I got, it was blue. And I probably should have kept that one. Because I wanted green, because then it resembled more a Buzz Lightyear better. But blue is my favorite color. So I'm like, ah... But then I think about, like, how the toys would fail in Toy Story, and they're like, Oh, they returned me. <laughs> they didn't want me. So, yeah. Okay, um, we have tins from, uh, Mario figures. I only bought one Luigi tin, but I got all three Mario tins. Uh, I don't know where all of them are. <laughs> I only see this one. Like, wait, I have two... Uh, Luigi tins? I know I got all three Mario tins, but I didn't know I got two of Luigi tins. I only thought I got one. Um, maybe I might give one to my cousin since he loves Luigi so much. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, um, Hot Wheels piece. I don't even have Hot Wheels anymore, so I don't even know why I have these. And there's the piece to connect so I can make an awesome turn. 
Like, I used to love Hot Wheels when I was younger. Hey, uh, go kart. Uh, I think this was for either Yoshi or Luigi. I, can't, I don't know. I think it might have been for Luigi. But yeah, it's a go kart from Mario Kart 64 figures. And these are probably like these are probably the best Mario figures of all time because they were to scale of the Sonic figures that we have right now from Jazzwares, and they actually were, were articulatable. I think you could rotate the hands. I can't remember. Um, the arms I know were on uh, universal uh, swivels where like they can go like this and then like this. <laughs> Freaking retarded! Like how I'm showing it off with my real arm. But uh, yeah, you get what I mean, guys. It's uh, it's great. I had, I like, I know I had the Ghost Mario, where like the, the chest and the arms were actually like translucent. It was pretty, it was really awesome. I loved it. But unfortunately, they broke. <laughs> A bag full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards and another bag, mainly filled with Pokemon cards. But there's still some Yu-Gi-Oh cards in here. I am gonna keep these out because uh, I'm getting my neighbors into playing Yu-Gi-Oh again. So I will keep these out for them. So they can look through these. And, um, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm probably just going to put them over here for now. Um, there you go. <laughs> Alright, Norris and Justin, if you see this video, come down. <laughs> so you can check these out. Book bag of Spider-Man. I remember my cat Felix. I think it was Felix. He threw up on this. I know, it's gross. I'm still having this. and still holding it. But, uh... I loved Spider-Man when I was growing up. I loved Felix. He's my favorite cat. And, uh, no, I didn't keep this just because of Felix. I kept it because in case I had, like, too many toys, uh, I would put them in a book bag and put it over there in case they, they all didn't fit in here. Luckily, I didn't get that many toys yet. Um, oh, oh, hold on. I, I remember this. But I am going to hold this till later because there's a few parts missing. And I'm pretty sure the pieces are in here. So when I find them, then I'm going to finally show you. Okay, um... This is for you 90s kids out there. Do you know who this is? If you don't know who this is, you are not a 90s kid. This is Cat Dog. And I always wondered, how'd they go to the bathroom? I don't know. But this is like one of the coolest plushes that I ever had. Nah, I take that back. Crash Bandicoot's awesome. But, uh, still, very, very cool plush. Very great from back in the day. And I'm so happy that I have this. God, treasure hunting's fun. Oh, here's another one for you 90s kids. And the battery's shot. Uh, do you ever remember Wishbone? Uh, I barely remember what the show was about. I think I had to do something with books or something. But, uh, yeah, this is Wishbone. And he even says Wishbone on a tag. It's super awesome. Uh, he even has a little paw print on his ear. I love this thing. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm going to bring this back out. I'm going to show this to my mom. Be like, oh, my God, Mom. Look what I found when I was treasure hunting. God. 90s freaking for the win. Okay. This was a Mario plush. Right? And it was supposed to have wings. And the batteries were shot. No, no, that was, that was, that was horrible. Uh, I used to have wings, but I tore them off and sewed them back together. Because I had a Mario plush, like another one that was pretty much the same face and, uh, and everything. That was a little bit taller. So I'm like, okay, this is mini Mario. Then he gets a mushroom, then he goes into bigger Mario. But then this girl actually stole that Mario, and now I'm very pissed at her. Screw you, Ashley. It's my Mario. Um, I'm not sure if this is still on today, but, uh, Clifford. <laughs> yes, Clifford. Uh, yeah. He was a lot bigger on the show. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, more Hot Wheels pieces, but this is, like, not for parts that you would, like, actually, like, make them go flying. This is just, like, for your own play. This is either like Hot Wheels or Matchbox. I have no idea. I think it might be Matchbox. Where you can make a track or, or something. I don't even know why I have these pieces. I probably should get rid of these. 
Oh no. Uh, oh. What the? Okay, there was a Crash Bandicoot uh, tech deck that they had. It wasn't tech deck brand, but it was still uh, a little skateboard. And they had a Crash Bandicoot one. I got this at Hess, uh, the gas station. And I'm like, oh snap, I need to get this. So I got it, and I lost everything inside it. So that sucks, but Crash Bandicoot is still the best around. No one can ever break it down. Except for Activision. Activision doesn't get two craps about it. Oh, yes, look at this. A retro Mario figure from back in the day. Like, ah. This is like from Wendy's. I remember I would take this on a bus and like wall jump with it and stuff. It was like the coolest figure I ever had. Uh, nowadays, like, like, this is like probably like one of the, like, this is probably like the second, uh, Mario figure that has the most art articulation. It's sad that our figures nowadays don't even have this much art articulation. This is from freaking Wendy's Kids Meal. You know what, guys? I'm gonna put this on my shelf. Uh, hold on, yeah. Yeah, hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm putting this puppy on my shelf. And no, I am not editing this whatsoever. Okay. Now if you want to see how he looks like on my shelf, you're gonna to have to wait until next month room tour. And I'm not gonna do that until like after Christmas. <laughs> oh man, you guys gotta wait. Alright. Let's continue. A Pokeball. I uh, it was meant to be a keychain. And the Pokemon itself would have the keychain. Uh, I'm probably going to put this in my Pokemon bag later. Um, oh. First up, it's, it's under this. I I think I might know what this is from. This is like from a roller coaster set. I could probably throw this away. But it has a penny on it. <laughs> but I'm probably going to throw it back in here anyway. Um, oh yeah, this is what I was after. Pogs! If you never like, if you don't know what Pogs are, then you are not a '90s kid. Um, can't remember how you played with these. Like, I think you would lay them face down, and you would have a slammer, one of these guys, and you would flick it pretty much, and it would flip over. I have a bunch of different uh, slammers. I have one that's like a ninja star. <laughs> this thing's awesome. I have like some uh, Simpsons ones in here. Like, like the pogs, I don't have any slammers. But yeah, uh, I... Pogs! Only 90s kids. Blue! He deserves a spot somewhere. I'm gonna put him right here. Blue's awesome. Okay, um, if you ever watched Camp Laszlo, this is uh, the closest thing to a figure we ever got. This is from McDonald's, the, uh, a plush from Camp Laszlo. <sighs> Cartoon Network, what happened to you? Um, little arcade game, or by arcade game, I mean, I mean like a TV plug and play. Um, there's like a first person Spider-Man game where you would be walking down a hallway and stuff and you would make a turn there'd be an enemy, you shoot a web at him and there'd be also another one where it's like side scrolling where you have to swing around and stuff. It was half decent when I was younger. I should probably play it again, but I don't have any batteries for it unfortunately. Um Buzz Lightyear figure where you would close this and open it and his face would change either from a smile or a serious face and his wings come out. This was... I don't know where this is from, actually. Oh, it's from McDonald's. Probably one of the coolest Spider-Man figures that you can get from Burger King. It, uh... You can take the mask off. This is from Spider-Man 3, I believe. But yeah, I loved, I loved this figure. Go Spider-Man. And 
Burger King, what happened to you? Your chicken sucks now. Here's a smaller Spider-Man. It's actually like a metal figure with plastic arms and a head. Everything else is metal on it. I think they even made a, sil a, a legit only silver uh, Spider-Man figure. He looks awesome. Oh, snap. Uh, a Sonic X, uh, like a, a tractor trailer back. And hopefully the front might be in here, but I don't know. Well, if I find it, I'll show you all. I'll show it off later. Another Hot Wheels piece I don't give two craps about. Why in the world do I have Lincoln Logs? These things were awesome when I was younger. I would build houses and stuff. So great. There's Yu-Gi-Oh cards in here that are just flying around. Like, Cemetery Bomb. Uh, Gear Free to Swords Master. Great White. Uh, this one's like sticking to the bottom. Ill. Oh, oh man. It's black. Spell card. Um, I should probably throw this away. <laughs> this is nasty. A rev up thing from a uh, what's it called? Flywheels. I think I might know where a launcher and where a wheel is. I think it might be over there. So I should probably put that over there. <laughs> but yeah, these are your cards. They're beat. They're beating the hell. But who knows? Somebody might want them. Another Yu-Gi-Oh card. I remember my brother gave me this for Christmas. He was gonna sell it, but uh, he didn't. He just gave it to me for Christmas. And now look what happened to it. It's beaten to hell. It's the Red Baron. This thing is awesome. Since the package is beaten to hell, I should probably open it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna open it later. And no, I'm not doing an unboxing video for it. A Crash Bandicoot figure, wind it up and phew, shit goes flying. I'm gonna put this on my shelf too. Attacking the power of Juju. My god, I used to love this game. And then we have Lock over here. Oh my god. I wish I had a bigger shelf. So I could get these good figures up there. I remember I had all the figures, but then uh, Jabalba, his leg broke. I made sure I got every figure. And what was really cool is that this tag figure, it was a lot like these Ninja Turtles that came out, like, almost right before it. And those figures were quite expensive, and the fact that you can get this out of a freaking kid's meal at McDonald's was just freaking awesome. Well, I'm gonna try to make some room. Oh man. Hello childhood. Where have you been? <laughs> um Oh, I, I know what this thing is. Uh it's a card holder. Uh if you're playing Pokemon cards, uh you can put a card on here. But I used it to hold my hand because I was tired of holding my hand. Uh but god. Go Pokemon. And yeah, this is going my Pokemon stuff. Oh, watch um okay this is a huge huge part of my childhood let me explain um when i was in middle school i was about like in seventh grade i yeah it was seventh grade uh i had jeans but i never had a belt and i was complaining mom i need a belt and unfortunately she never got me a belt so one day i got i got like, I got smart. I made a belt out of watches. Like, that made me famous in school. I had a belt made by watches. Everybody was always bragging about me about it. It was really awesome.
Yeah, but I stopped using that probably like in high school. Oh snap! Freaking Pac-Man van. It says 1980 on it. It's gone in my collection. And oh my god, that's a freaking Volkswagen van too. Awesome. Oh man. So there's more watches in here. But I'm not gonna pull anything out anymore. Oh my god, a tiny freaking tech deck. Oh my god, and it's a Tony Hawk one too. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm not gonna pull out too much anymore. If there's anything that I actually like, I'm gonna actually pull out and show you. Like this tiny mic plush. I probably got from like a like a cereal box. 90s kids forever. Little Tommy playing little Indiana Jones. Got that from my cousin. Pikachu clock. Does it even still work? No, that doesn't. And there's no way of replacing it unless you actually legitly take it apart. There's no screw holes anywhere, so I would have to break it. Still going with the Pokemon stuff. A uh, little Mega Man figure that I lost the uh, arms to. And I. it also had, like, yellow armor that you could equip to. But, um... Yeah, I don't know what happened to all the armor. This is like the second Mega Man figure that I ever got. I, I I never really got into Mega Man growing up, but I knew that this is awesome, so I bought it. So, yeah. Let's see. A mini Mario that was supposed to be part of a uh, Mario parachute thing. Oh. Freaking bobblehead. And freaking Burger King. There's a bunch of Hot Wheels in here. I don't really want to show off. <laughs> the Rock. <laughs> this is my brother's. Oh man. Yeah, I I actually got all the uh, uh, Burger King bobbleheads. But I don't know what happened to all of them. Little Mr. Potato Head. Another. I'm not sure if they show this anymore, but they have a, I have an Arthur figure. Arthur with beans back in the day. It's bees knees. Whoopee cushion. And I actually just farted instead of pressing this. <laughs> the irony. A jet board from Crash Bandicoot. It's missing a peg and it's missing two things and it's missing the thing down here. Oh um, man. Holy crap! A giant pokey. I was looking for this for God knows how long. A freaking guitar pick necklace. I thought it always just disappeared, but now I found it. I'm gonna be wearing this again. I should probably wash it because it felt a little sticky. <laughs> and I already hear you guys saying, ill or just laughing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Earlier I was saying, oh, I'm not gonna show you this until I uh, find the proper pieces for it. And I just found the pieces. Oh, yeah, I never told you this in my room tour, but, like, yeah, I was really into Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day. I even got, like, a costume, and I even dressed up as freaking Yugi. Uh, I even got the Millennium Puzzle. I even got the little, the dual, like, glove from, uh, Duelist Kingdom. And behold, ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, fortunately I don't have his white lightning, uh, yeah, I don't know where his white lightning attack is, so that kind of sucks. My, I got blue eyes by dragon, because I had the card, and my friend Ricky got Tamias. I remember that Easter, you freaking call on the phone, I got Tamias! <laughs> oh my god, I'm never going to forget that. At least I hope I don't forget that, because that's a great moment from our childhood. A Pikachu pencil topper! And there's an eraser in it. So yeah, these things are known to pop off eraser tops. <laughs> like the thing that actually holds, like the metal thing and the eraser. Yeah, go Pikachu. Putting that with my Pikachu stuff. Oh, my Pikachu, my Pokemon stuff. Um, little coins. This is a half dollar, this is a quarter, this is a weird ass penny. Oh, an E.T. figure 
from when I helped clean out some lady stand. Oh yeah, yeah, I know who it was. Okay, Drew. Um, yeah, I helped out, I helped your mom out once. I uh, I was helping her clean her stand a while ago. Like this is like a long time ago, and um, she let us have whatever. My friend Taylor got candy, and I got this little ET figure because ET is awesome. Oh, not one of Mega Man's armored arms. Holy balls! Yeah, school bus. This is nothing compared to my freaking mailman freaking truck. That is awesome. Little duck duck. Oh, I remember this. My friend got this for me. Freaking Energizer Bunny. I need to put this somewhere now. Got to put this off on my shelves. I have like no room for anything anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I gotta put one of these freaking bobbleheads up. I have a few of these. Oh, snap! Freaking number one from Kids Next Door. Holy crap. I used to have, like, like legit action figures where you could actually pose them and stuff. And, oh, snap. Freaking Kirby. Yeah, you probably can't see what was happening. But, like, you spin this, and the top would turn, and... He's also going on my shelf. Go Kirby. And I'm pretty sure Kirby is a dude. I always thought he was a girl, but... I don't know. A baseball. I never really passed a baseball before. I don't even have a bat. Um, go outside more, kids. Play the sports. Yeah, there's nothing really left that I want to pull out for you guys. There's nothing that I can think of. A missile space typhoon. Pretty decent shape. Probably sell that to Norris and Justin. The little Hot Wheels with actually a driver in it. That always bothered me when I was a kid. Who in the world are driving these cars? Come on. They're going down and freaking... Like, these little trick, Like these tracks and stuff. But they don't have a freaking driver. I mean, come on. Crash Bandicoot crates. Thing from Nintendo, the little matchbox. Probably gonna put that in my collection. that made Mario sound effects but the batteries are shot. This thing's awesome. Kids, this is what I want you to do. If you're young, make a time capsule. And then dig it back up when you're about 20 or older. Because the stuff that you see once again will give you so many flashbacks of how you were, like like how you grew up and stuff when you were growing up. And holy crap, it's a has gasoline truck. Holy crap. And this thing actually lights up and everything too. This is awesome. And the battery's a shot, of course. It's from my childhood. Uh, 
a Mario Party thing. But again, kids, uh, make a time capsule. And then dig it back up uh, in about like, 20 years. And then you're like, holy crap, I remember this stuff when I was a kid. And it really brings it back. Like... Like, it's something that I can't really explain. There's this freaking thing. This thing would freaking go off every morning. The batteries are still good at this. Brother gave me this at school. This thing goes off every day. Oh, cube world. This thing was barely a fad. Uh, you, you can get multiple versions of these, and you can, like, stick them to each other, and they can interact with each other. You can get a giant cube. Two of these. That's why I saw another one in here. So here it is. And it's magnetic, so they wouldn't come off that easily. It was really cool. Again, kids. Make a freaking time capsule. And dig it back up in 20 years. You will really be surprised on, like, how things used to be back in the day. Like... Like, I, yeah, again, I can't really, ex I can't explain how it feels to dig this stuff up and be like, oh my god, L look what I found. And this used to be part of my childhood. Um, it's really something that you need to experience for yourself. So, gather some stuff up. Stuff that is not just junk, but stuff that actually was a good part of your childhood. Don't sell it. Put it in a put it in a tub like this. Don't bury it in your yard. Just put it in like a barn or a shed or something. And then dig it and then look at it again. Like like far in the future. And you'll be like, oh my god. That like that feeling that you get is just absolutely incredible. And, like, none of you kids, of, like, I feel so bad for you. None of you kids don't know what this feels like yet. But one day, you will learn how it feels, and you will be like, oh, my God. So if you ever hear your parents be like, oh, my God, I remember I used to have this when I was a kid, and they start rambling about their childhood, like, their childhood and stuff, how they were when it was back in the day. Don't just brush them off and be all like, oh my god, parents, shut up, blah, 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 I don't care. Like, I think you should actually listen to them, like, because one day, that's actually going to be you. One day you're going to be like, oh my god, I remember this from back in the day. And then your kids are going to be like, oh my god, dad, shut up, or oh my god, mom, shut up. Yeah, I know, like, 75% of my audience is, uh, is d like dudes, so, uh, yeah, for you boys out there. Don't be going to your parents and be like, oh my god, shut up. Actually, listen to their stories and actually learn something. Because you'll be surprised what happened back in the day. So, um, yeah. Tell me what was your favorite part that I pulled out. In this, I'm gonna call this my time capsule. But again, like some people bury their time capsules in the yard or something, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. And if you ever get a new toy and you think it's awesome, see if you can get two of them, but keep one in the box, keep it in good condition. Keep it someplace dark and like where like the climate like won't affect it. Like don't just put it in a shed, cause then like suppose it rains and it's, like it starts leaking on it, or like it won't. Like, you have to treat it like it's a guitar. 
and kids. <clears throat> I don't know how to take care of a, a guitar yet. Um, like, keep it where it's weather controlled. I wouldn't say an attic, because I don't think they're really weather controlled that well. Maybe a basement. But again, I don't know. It just depends on how your basement is. Um, yeah, make a time capsule. That is your homework for your life. Make a time capsule, dig it back up in about 20 years, and share your experience with the world. Gotta say, this crap really brings me back. Holy balls. Okay, guys, um, I'm gonna see you guys later.